Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Rolka. I want to thank you for checking out my video. I had a special request for some movement exercises along with vocalizations. And while I'm going to step around to the piano in just a moment here and play along with some exercises that we can all sing along to and try these out with, in truth, you could use these on virtually any vocalization that you're doing. So your favorite warm-up that you might find here on the channel, you can use these exercises too. The important aspect of the exercise is that we cross the center line of our bodies when we are doing the motions. I say this to say that if you have challenges with mobility, you can adapt the exercises as best you can to suit your needs. And if possible, do try to cross the center line of your body in so doing. Any mobility issues that you might have that involve your back or things like that, be sensitive to your, your person, your, your person, so that you're taking good care of yourself. None of these things, we, we don't want them to be uncomfortable. We want them to be contemplative. We're trying to focus our minds and stimulate activity across the hemispheres of our brains because our brains, our music, music is a full brain exercise. We have lyrics, we have melodies, we have rhythms, we have language, and so we want to stimulate that activity across the various hemispheres. Very, very, very straightforward, nice and easy, taking my right hand and then placing it to my knee, bringing it back up, my left hand across the knee. In truth, you can just do this exercise like this. You don't even have to sing. But if you want to do it with a vocalization, and do it across the breath, just keep that nice steady motion happening while you do the vocalizations. And especially, again, incorporated across the breath. Additionally, if you want a little deeper, into the motion, use your elbow. If a little jog here and there kind of disrupts your phonation, that's all right. You'll hear it and work towards adapting to make sure that it's okay, basically. Finally, if you want to incorporate still more motion into the exercise, you can do different parts. You can do shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. And once again, if you want a little bit deeper, get into the knees. Sorry, these are elbows, not knees. Now, let me move back over there and let's try a few of these. Hello again. Let's start with hands to knees. So the nice gentle motion. We'll take it a very easy tempo. We're going to stick to keys that hopefully we can all sing reasonably comfortably in. If it's a little too low to begin with, you might wait a moment as we ascend. If it gets too high, you might just pause for a second, keep your motion going, and we'll quickly come back down to a comfortable area. We're going to begin here. I'll play that down there and that there, whichever one suits you best. We'll do
now I'm going to slow down a little bit and let's do, <laughs> I almost said knees again, but elbows to knees. Again, making sure we're crossing the center line of the body. Let's begin where we picked up, left off, I mean. One, two, three, four. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. You can use your hands or your elbows as you see fit. We'll change the pattern to the arpeggio followed by the scale. So it'll sound like this. I'll show you here. Nice and easy. One, two, three, four.
As always, I hope that helps. My name is Jeff. If you're still here, I hope you'll choose to subscribe. And if you already have, thank you. If you'd like to get MP3s of these exercises and many, many others, as well as PDF practice sheets, head on over to Patreon and you can see what we've got over there, which is exactly that. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. My name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.